What is the significance of ihram? When someone goes on pilgrimage in Islam, Hajj or Umrah, the major or minor pilgrimage, the men take off all of their clothes and they wrap themselves in two towels or blankets, one on top and one on bottom. And women, they wear what is comfortable for them and they avoid uh, perfume and other kind of scents as well as other things. This state is called the state of ihram, which is basically disciplined abstinence. You're abstaining from things that are normally allowed for you in order to fulfill a spiritual connection with your Lord. You're removing yourself and your ego from everything that's material. And that's one of the most powerful significance of this state. It's not that the physical clothes are normally referred to as a haram, but the entire state of being while you're going on pilgrimage is called a haram. And one of the most powerful lessons and significance of this is that it basically is a dress rehearsal of your hereafter, how you're going to go to God with nothing on. Literally, you will be naked in front of your Lord. And that is to show the state of need that when we go on pilgrimage in our calling to our Creator. And that is what it symbolized. Moreover, when you pass away, that is pretty much how you will be buried. Men will be covered with two cloths and women will be covered in their clothing and then they will be wrapped in their death shrouds. So you basically are wearing your shroud in this life, calling to your Lord and seeking nearness to Him in this life, in this long journey, just like the hereafter will be a long journey to meet your Creator. And that is the significance of Yahweh.